What's going on YouTube? It's Christian Yuzman, and today I'm going to take you through a bicep, tricep, and shoulder workout. Now this workout can be done within an hour if you keep a good pace. The pace I recommend is about 45 seconds to one minute rest in between sets. We're doing about three sets per exercise, uh, and I'll explain all this stuff. But our very first exercise, guys, we're going to go ahead and hit biceps first. We are doing alternating dumbbell curls. This is probably the best mass builder for the bicep uh, since one arm is resting. Uh, while you're doing the other arm, it allows you to lift a little bit more weight, put more stress on that bicep. Focus about three sets, 10 to 12 reps, and this whole workout's going to be written out in the, in the end of this video, guys, so don't worry about writing all this down, but three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Uh, on the last couple, it's okay to use a little bit of a sway and really focus on that eccentric part of the motion when you bring the weight down, um, and again, on like the last two or so reps. Um, next exercise, we are doing a dead hang easy curl bar. All this is, is you want to get a preacher machine, take off the seat, and uh, you really want to dig your armpit into the seat so that way you seriously lock in your uh, form. You cannot use your front delt to help you pick up the weight. This is a straight bicep movement. Um, if you've never tried this, I definitely recommend trying this. I love this exercise. It's probably one of my favorite, probably is my favorite actually, bicep exercise. Um, you really get a great contraction. Be sure to flex your tricep at the bottom so you ensure that you get the full extension. And again, going about 10 and 12 reps here for three sets. You can see, I also like this exercise, I guess, because since your form is locked in, uh, you'll see here, the last couple reps, you can really grind out the reps. Like here, you really grind out the reps and you feel it in your bicep. You're not really cheating. You're not using your back and everything because you're really just using that bicep since your shoulders are locked in. So definitely try this one out, guys. Three sets here, squeeze at the top and lower the weight slowly. And yeah, exercise three, and this is the final exercise for biceps. This is actually a superset. So we are gonna do hammer curls. Now notice I'm not using heavy or too heavy a weight because I'm doing both arms at the same time. Now we already did our alternating, so now we're gonna do dumbbells at the same time. We're going about 10 to 12 reps here, really controlling the weight, and I want you guys to grip that bar really tight. We're really focusing on the brachialis, forearms, and the biceps. Uh, a lot of time, well, what I wanted to kind of explain to you guys is forearm or brachialis work. So when you do a hammer curl, oh, and by the way, you're supersetting with a reverse curl. So you're going to see right here. Get an easy bar, get outside grip, uh, put your uh, palms facing down, and you're going to curl up. And we're doing three sets again, uh, aiming for about 10 reps on each one, 10 and 12. And yeah, so anytime you're doing a overhand movement or neutral grip, really what it does is it thickens, I don't want to say thickens the bicep, but it if you're looking at a person straight on, if you really develop the brachialis, it's going to help give it a wider appearance, more width, more girth. So I definitely recommend always incorporating some kind of reverse curl or hammer curl or some kind of brachialis and forearm movement into your uh, bicep routine. So that's going to conclude the bicep routine, guys. A total of nine sets and superset the last exercise. To start off triceps, we are doing a V-bar pushdown. You could also do a straight bar if you wish. Um, going about... 12 to 15 reps here. I like to go a little bit higher up to start off just to really get the blood flow in the tricep, warm up the elbows, and warm up the wrists. So this is our first tricep exercise. You can see the striations going across the tricep. I'm trying to stay lean here, guys. You know, it's a lifestyle. There is no off season if you're if this is your work and if you're if you're you know trying to be a model or trying to get on a magazine or trying to do a commercial or uh, work for a company for Anything that requires your look, guys, there is no off-season. Off there is no bulking up to 200 pounds and getting 30 pounds over your contest weight. Um, I like to say about three to four pounds over my contest weight, and uh, I'm trying to gain very slowly, so maybe a pound a month, maybe. Um, exercise two, this is a overhead rope extension. This is an awesome mass builder, guys. Even though it's a cable, it's still a mass builder. You're going to be working the long head of the tricep primarily, which is the biggest part of the tricep. Our tricep, you have your medial, lateral, and long head. Long head is the part, uh, it's kind of hard to explain because I can't talk to you guys, but it's the biggest chunk of the tricep. So always, always, always try to incorporate some kind of overhead movement. Now, what you notice is at the beginning, I was kind of twisting my wrists out and um, at the top of the rep, but once it starts to get harder and harder, instead of dropping the weight, just start pushing it through, the, through guys. Don't worry about twisting out too much. Um, and let the cable pull you back. The reason you have a cable is so you, you use it to pull your tricep back and really stretch out that tricep. That's what's going to give you, that's really going to activate the long head. Um, all right, third exercise. Here we are going uh, single arm, uh, let's, let's say uh, supinated position, so meaning your palm is facing up and you're just doing a single arm extension. 
going about 15 reps here guys really squeezing the tricep out now here you can do three sets and um, what I like to do honestly is to keep the pace up uh, you know kind of keep the heart rate up keep the calories burning I really just do one arm go to the other arm and then keep ro rotating arms I don't really take rest in between those sets simply because one arm is resting while the other is uh, doing the movement last tricep exercise this is, we're only going to do two sets here guys uh, overhead French press with the dumbbell. This is a very heavy weight for me, especially after being smoked out by all the tricep work. But you want to go about six to eight reps, and then you're going to see I'm going to drop the weight and do a drop set, only one drop set. So as soon as you hit failure, so you, you well, I say six to eight guys, but you really want to go as close to failure as you can. Really just smoke out the triceps. Trust me, your central nervous system is going to be fine by going to failure on two sets of tricep extensions. Um, I dropped the weight. I believe I did like 65 for my heavy set and then this is like a 40 or 45. Uh, and just burn it out guys. Burn the tricep out. Demand it to grow. Just burn your triceps. Um, again, this is targeting the long head which is the biggest portion of the tricep. So another great mass builder for the tricep. And moving on to our, uh, what's it called, shoulder work. Um, now keep in mind guys, I like to do my front delts on my push day and my front delts are very dominating compared to my side and rear delts. So I, I stick with uh, side lateral raises. I want you guys to notice here that I'm not, um, I'm keeping the dumbbells a little bit farther from my leg, meaning I'm keeping tension on the side uh, or on the lateral deltoid. Um, don't, you know, do the motion and then just kind of hang out at the bottom of the rep, let your shoulders rest and then do the motion again. Um, go four sets there, 10 to 12 reps, and four sets on the face pulls. You pick an overhand grip and um, squeeze the traps and squeeze the rear delts. These are great for the rear delt and great for shoulder health. So I want to thank you guys for watching this. If you guys are interested in purchasing a custom meal or workout plan and hiring me as your online personal trainer, I can guarantee results. What I do is you uh, purchase a meal or workout plan, and then I guarantee if you have any questions, once you're my cli client, if you have any questions, I will answer them. I will make adjustments to your plan until we get you where you need to be. So email me at christianguzmanfitness at yahoo.com. The link is in the description box. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you learned something in this video. Uh, thank you so much for the support and be sure to stay safe, guys.